Wrestling is one of those sports where you have to be absolutely dedicated to it, especially if you got to make weight. Various methods have been used over the years, such as wearing garbage bags or chewing while they go. But do these methods actually work, or are they safe? My name is Sean Burke, point for Tiger TV. Let's pin this thing down. One method wrestlers use for losing weight is chewing gum and spitting. Now this method dates back a while, and it's really not the safest way to lose weight as it dehydrates the person. Well, by the nature of the sport, practices are very difficult. So, just going through the process of going through practice every day, the wrestler is going to naturally lose weight. Dan Olson is the 225 pounder for the HHS wrestling team. We asked him what he had to do in order to cut down to that weight at the start of the season. I lost 35 pounds. I cut down my meals and I just run a lot, work hard in the weight, in the weight room and the wrestling room. Similar to Dan, Alex Korea cut almost 20 pounds at the start of the season, but not because he needed to lose weight. He did so to gain a competitive edge on the mat. I was 163, and right now I'm 145. I ration my food and I run a lot. Uh, I feel the lighter I am. I, I'm faster and I feel like, stronger. Well, I, I think it's every, everybody wants a competitive edge. So the, the, the thought is, you know, the lighter, the better. And to a point, they have, they have a, uh, it could be true. I mean, there, there comes a point where you start to get too light and it becomes detrimental to your performance. Well, there you have it, Tigers. I think we won this match. Like I said before, wrestling takes a huge amount of commitment and hard work. And even though some of the ways to lose weight aren't the healthiest, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. My name is Sean Burke, pointing for Tiger TV. I'll see you on the mat. Yeah. <sighs>